week on the show, we have content creator and YouTube star, Jesus Garcia, better known as Mr. Chewy. Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for watching. This show is all about giving you insights and showcasing brands that help you to live your best life and give you confidence. As always, I want to kickstart your morning with some motivational advice to leave you inspired and energized to start your day. Today, I want to talk about understanding that you should never lose your childlike wonder. The reality is, when we are children, we are excited about everything. The smallest gift or experience can make us jump for joy and bring us an overload of excitement. But as we grow up, we are taught to lose that childlike wonder, and over time, we lose that sense of enthusiasm by getting caught up in the hustle and bustle of life. But what if I told you that having a childlike wonder and getting excited is the key to manifesting all your desires? Excitement and happiness is the key that unlocks our manifestations because the positive feelings of these emotions make you a vibrational match to bring more goodness into your life. Excitement and happiness unlocks a feeling of gratitude, which just like a magnet, pulls more experiences to you for you to get excited about. Make your mission today to get excited about all the good things happening in your life, whether big or small. As Hannah Sohal quotes, See the world through the eyes of your inner child, the eyes that sparkle in awe and amazement as they see love, magic, and mystery in the most ordinary things. Stay tuned, coming up after the break. And you know, you've been able to build your business into a six-figure income, uh, working with brands like NFL. I know that you also got to attend a lot of cool red carpet premieres uh, like Black Panther and Spider-Man No Way Home. So what do you think the key to your success has been and what advice would you have for anyone watching that wants to build or become a content creator and build their channels? So I would say the most important one is to be true to yourself. Um, have so much fun with it. People can tell if you're having fun or if you're just trying to get numbers or, or stats. I'd say be true to yourself, find your niche. Um, and stick with it, you know. And if you're gonna do it, you gotta make sure you stick with it till the end. You know, don't 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 start here and stop here just because I don't know. I get it. You know, life happens. I totally get it. I mean, I was doing this full time while in college, <clears throat> taking 17, 18 units a semester. I was booked, right? I could have easily said, yo, I can't, I cannot do the social media stuff. It's too much. But, but. That's why it's so important that it has to be kind of a, of a hobby. It has to be yeah. fun for you, right? And don't stop. Yeah. Keep it going. Wardrobe provided by Le Chateau. Next up on the show, we have content creator Jesus Garcia, better known as Mr. Chewy. Jesus has garnered over 10 million plus followers across the social media channels, building his brand into a six figure business. Jesus, thank you so much for being on the show today. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. How about you? I am doing amazing. I'm excited to talk to you. And, you know, we have a lot to talk about. But before we get into everything, let's talk about you've been able to build your brand into a six figure income. Um, but before we get into that, let's talk about when did you get into content creation and uh, the concept of your YouTube channel? I got, I mean, I got into content creation since I was a kid. Um, I got. I've always wanted to make other people laugh. I was always a family clown. Um, so when I got my first camera, I was like 12, maybe 13. And uh, it was a little Sony camera. It took AA batteries. I mean, like the quality of it was, it wasn't the greatest, right? I mean, it was a long time ago. The sun would hit it and the whole the whole frame would turn purple. Oh. Right? <laughs> um, and uh, so I started very young, um, and then going into high school when Vine started, I hopped on Vine. I was one of the late, the later ones, just because Vine came out on on iOS first. So I had an Android. So at that time, when I joined it, I was a little late, but I hopped on it during college. That's when it started to ramp, you know, to ramp up, and um, that's where I started to get some brand deals, and and that's when I realized that like I can turn it, I could turn this into an actual career. Very nice. Wow, I haven't heard Vine <laughs> that in yeah. so long. It's been a while since Vine. Yeah. And, you know, we just celebrated Hispanic Heritage Month. And, of course, your content is, is centered around your Hispanic heritage. So how has it been kind of sharing your content, your, your culture, in a comedic way, as well as making it into a lucrative career? 
it's been it's been so good to me i feel like i've been able to reach not only my hispanic people but i've been able to reach every other culture in, in the world at one point um during like 2019 i my uh 40 percent of watchers were coming from the philippines um I thought it was interesting that a lot of people were also coming up to me and, and saying how relatable my videos were to their own lives. And, and and what I like about it is how I could show everybody that's not Latino that we're all connected somehow, right? Whether it's within our parents, within um, our, our home or uh, even our food, you know, there's a lot of similarities between them. So it's been really cool to see all this, you know, connection within cultures and, and, and people's experiences when they come up and tell me or message me or whatever it is. Yeah, that's the great thing about comedy, right? It's, it's universal and everyone can enjoy it. So I love that. And you know, your YouTube channel really blew up. You have over 18 million views on some of your videos. So what does it take to build an engaging page? I'm sure a lot of our viewers want to know. Okay, so for me, <clears throat> it was relatively, right? So it was, it, it, it's, it's how can I connect with these people? And it's also family friendly. So my content, if you've noticed, I don't, I don't say anything um, threatening or, 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 or bad words or anything like that, right? So my content can be seen from a point of view of a grandma to a child, right? So my content gets shared within families. My content can be seen with families. Um, and with with doing so, you're able to reach massive amount of people in different ages and, and aspects. Um, consistency is also a really, a really big one for me. It's, it's, I mean, it took me years to get even like thousands of followers. It took years. And back then, obviously it was harder to, to reach the crowds just because the algorithm wasn't really an algorithm. It was more like already like settled creators or, or one of those rare people that just gets blown up. But uh, consistency is 100 yeah. percent the way to go. Absolutely. And I, I think that's really important for our viewers to know as well Is it takes time, right? So many people think that they can build a TikTok channel or YouTube and if they don't see views right away, they get discouraged. But it really is, you know, it takes it's 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 a process, right? It takes time. So I like that you said that because I think that will inspire people to keep going. And if they're not seeing views, they won't be discouraged. So no, absolutely. And I mean, when nowadays with TikTok, TikTok allows people to, to blow up. It could be tomorrow. It could be in a month. Right. That's pretty fast. I didn't blow up for like for, you know, I, I want to say at least four years, you know, it took me four years, but it's not because I, I, I wanted to to get big in the platforms, which was back then it was YouTube and Vine. It's because I was trying to just have fun. That was, and I still have so much fun doing it. I don't even see it as a, as a job. That's why sometimes when like, if, if I don't respond to something quickly or, or if it's a business deal, no matter how much, you know, the money it is, it's, it, it, it's fun for me. So yeah. I just tend to forget that sometimes. Yeah, I mean, that's the best thing, right? Is when you're passionate about something and you can make money from it. So I think that's, that's always the key is passion. And I wanna talk about the MLB creator class. I know that you're a part of it and you've got to do some pretty cool things. I know that you traveled to Mexico with the San Francisco Giants. So tell us about some of the experiences that you had. How have they been? It's been so great. Uh, the stuff that, or the access that we've been able to get at all these different uh, parks has been amazing. You brought up the, the Mexico series. That one was really cool because my team <clears throat> is the San Francisco Giants. So having having that team go to Mexico also being Mexican was very, very, very cool. I was even able to, <clears throat> to get one of the pitchers from the Giants, his name is Sean, to do a, a little skit with me there. Uh, and I told him, because since he's a pitcher, I got a candy in Mexico, it's called a mazapan, very, very fragile. It, it, there's even like trends where like, challenge, open it without breaking it, right? Cause it's yeah. so fragile. And I told him, I'm like, hey, Sean, pitch this to me as hard as you want, not can. I almost said can, <laughs> but I'm like, no, he's a pitcher. He <laughs> says, as hard as you want. And I'm gonna try to catch you as soft as I can, right? To make sure it doesn't break. And I mean, it was a total, total fail. He's a pitcher, right? He pitched it so good. It was so straight. I couldn't even catch it at the time. It just hit me right here. Boom. <laughs> and it shattered all over the floor. Oh, it's no. just, I've never seen something shatter like that. It was just all dust and powder. <laughs> that was so <laughs> funny. Um, we've been able to visit multiple parks, the Red Sox in Boston, the Yankees, um, <clears throat> just so many parks, the Phillies, 
uh, that I've never, I mean, to be honest, before this, I've only been to the giant stadium only once before this, just once yeah. in my lifetime. And that was during high school, college. So this has been really, really, really cool. Yeah, and I know that you were one of the only Latin creators in your class or that graduated from your class. So what does it feel or how does it feel to be represented in this way and representing your culture? It feels really good, you know, especially being Mexican in particular, to be part of uh, an organization this big, like Major League Baseball. You know, like I've worked a lot with, with um, soccer, like Liga MX, MLS, but I never worked with baseball or MLB in general. And so being, you know, being able to do this has been such a blessing. You know, my family still can't even believe I'm doing this. My friends, I, I mean, I mean, not now, but before I was teaching my friends baseball, right? Cause it's not, it's not usually a sport they watch because yeah. growing up we would only watch soccer or football, right? Um, so it's been, it feels really, really good. And, and especially to be able to show, you know, mi gente, my followers that, that me, they grew up with watching, they grew up watching me, they grew up with me and, and, and to be in MLB, I'm sure, and I hope for them that it feels like we all made it. Yeah, absolutely. That, that's what's amazing about it is that, you know, your followers are on the journey with you and seeing your success. So I'm sure that it inspires them as well. And you have some exciting news. I know that you're going to be going to the World Series tomorrow. So any predictions on who's going to win and what are you most excited about? <laughs> OK, so I'm really excited that they're underdogs that made it yeah. to the World Series. Right. So the Astros lost to the Rangers. The Astros have made it to the World Series so many years, so many times. Um, and then the Phillies is also a great massive team. Also, I mean, they made it last year to the World Series. And and to see the Diamondbacks from Arizona make it as well at the same time, it's kind of like, wow, there's two underdogs, right? So like, no matter who wins, <clears throat> it's going to be history. Yeah. So I'm just excited to see a good game. That's it. I just want to see good games and, and a good, you know, a good battle between both of them. Very nice. We'll enjoy. I'm, I'm excited to see all your content on your social media. I'm going to be keeping up to see <laughs> what you're up to. And, you know, you've been able to build your business into a six figure income um, working with brands like NFL. I know that you also got to attend a lot of cool red carpet premieres uh, like Black Panther and Spider-Man No Way Home. So what do you think the key to your success has been and what advice would you have for anyone watching that wants to build or become a content creator and build their channels? So I would say the most important one is to be true to yourself. Um, have so much fun with it. People can tell if you're having fun or if you're just trying to get numbers or, or stats. I'd say be true to yourself, find your niche um, and stick with it, you know? And if you're gonna do it, you gotta make sure you stick with it till the end, you know? Don't, don't, don't start here and stop here just because I don't know. I get it. You know, life happens. I totally get it. I mean, I was doing this full time while in college, <clears throat> taking 17, 18 units a semester. I was booked, right? I could have easily said, yo, I can't, I cannot do the social media stuff. It's too much. But, yeah. but that's why it's so important that it has to be kind of, uh, of a hobby. It has to be yeah. fun for you. Right. And don't stop. Yeah. Keep it going. My show is an inspirational show. It's all about inspiration. So I want to ask you, what are some barriers or challenges that you face along your path to success? Because I'm sure people will see you and see all the success you have, but I'm sure there were obstacles along the way. So, so tell us about that. Uh, when you start off, uh, you have life, <clears throat> you know, you have um, a lot of stuff to do, whatever it is that you're doing. So when you, when you start doing what we do, um, your life changes a bit. You know, and it, and it changes a little more and a little more. And a few barriers as well um, is it's it, it's it's like there isn't competition. Some say there is, like you know, with competition, they see other creators. But in reality, the competition is within the algorithm itself. That's your barrier, right? Like getting yourself out there. Let's say you have a really good video, <clears throat> and you know you spent two days on it, right? And then you post it and it gets like 10, 10 views and you're like, what? Right. So that's a barrier right there that like your content doesn't get pushed. And it also, you know, emotionally, 
uh, it, it hits you like, dang, you know, like I spent two days doing that and it only got a few amount of views. That's not another barrier right there. In the emotional impact that social media can have within, and that's why, that's why I stay true to saying, you know, stay consistent, don't stop. You know, if if if, if it's a number thing for you, you know, just just keep going, just do another one. What's next? That's that that's the next question is what's next. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And, you know, I created my platform to inspire. So anyone that's watching that, you know, might be going through a hard time, maybe is giving up on their goals or just not feeling motivated. What would you say to inspire and uplift them? <sighs> to be motivated. I, I feel like a broken record <laughs> to be motivated. That's what you got to do what you love. Okay. So for me, right. I love making people laugh. I've always loved making people giggle if i can get one person to smile and laugh I, for me i already i did my purpose right there and i'm going to the next um so yeah please just just, just do what you want right don't don't try because there's people that say oh i might just do this because it works well yeah but are you but you know how long are you going to do it for because let, let's say one day it doesn't perform the way that you want or or, or you're just not as happy or, are you going to keep going you know so I think I think stay true to yourself. That's so important. You got to stay yeah. true to yourself, and that's how you're able to make sure that that uh, people can see your authenticity. Absolutely, I think that's great advice. And Jesus, what else is uh, in store for you? What else are what are your current projects? Yeah, so um, I've been doing some stuff with the 49ers oh, this nice. season. Um, they're also my home team, so they've been inviting me to, to some games, and and I'm hoping for you know further um, partnerships. Uh, I'm also working with the Liga MX, that's um, Football Mexicano. Uh, this weekend as well, actually, uh, I'm, I'm taking like a flight a day right now. Uh, I'm, I'm doing something as well uh, in San Antonio on Saturday for the Liga MX and, and Metro by T-Mobile. Um, there's also some other projects in the works. I'm pretty sure I can't talk about it right now, but um, <laughs> they're in the works. So uh, excited to come through. That's amazing. Well, congratulations on all your success. Thank you for being on the show today. Enjoy the World Series, and we hope to have you back on the show soon. Thank you so much for having me as well. And uh, this was a, a big pleasure. Thank you. Tag TV is available on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Apple and Android TVs, as well as on Apple and Android phones. Watch us live to YouTube and Facebook. Yeah.